Ladies and gentlemen, we have a huge post announcing the changes to the affixes for Mythic Plus in the first season of The War Within. And once you start reading that post, it actually sounds quite nice up until a certain point. But after you think about it a little bit, it's actually not that good at all. And I'm going to tell you why in the following minutes. So I'll scroll down here at the bottom first and read what is getting changed and which affixes are getting retired. Afflicted, Incorporeal, Entangling, Storming and Volcanic. Now the first two, Afflicted and Incorporeal, those are definitely huge wins. Uh, I don't think anyone's gonna feel sorry that they're gone, especially in Pugs, those uh, affixes were Cancer. So removing them is actually something that it's gonna be really good for the game. The other three though, uh, you would consider those to be relatively easy, they could be challenging in their own way, but the most important part is that these affixes did not buff the mobs or the bosses or did not uh, buff the dungeon uh, in general, and I'll get back to that in a little bit as that's actually very important for the new affixes. Now, the ones that actually make it are Raging, Bolstering, Bursting and Sanguine. A lot of people are unhappy about this. And my personal opinion is that uh, these affixes are actually not that bad in certain dungeons, but then in some dungeons they're really awful. And the reason for that is simply the dungeon design. We've seen that with uh, Bolstering, for example, in uh, Everbloom, in Waycrest Manor, just the dungeon is designed in such a way that this affix becomes unplayable and very deadly uh, after a certain key level. The same thing as mobs that uh, would just not move when they're supposed to move and get healed with the Sanguine, etc. Et uh, so... I wouldn't mind those staying as long as the dungeon design is accommodating them respectively, but so far that hasn't been the case. In a lot of uh, scenarios, in a lot of dungeons, the design kind of lacked and was not uh, kind of attuned to those affixes, which made them really bad. And I think that's going to be the case for season one as well. But now let's focus on the new affixes, which are up here. And I'm not going to read through all of them, but basically they buff either the um, trash with or without mana. They do more damage somehow. They get a haste buff or something like this. And then every week, every affix buffs a certain type of damage that is going to be more powerful on these uh, mobs. But the first problem here is that it's only on these mobs, right? And every pack dies as fast as the slowest mob is actually dying. So if you're nuking two of the mobs inside of a pack very quickly, that does nothing. Uh, absolutely nothing because uh, the pack is still alive until everything else is killed. And the only thing that's going to happen is people who are doing these types of damage are going to be padding the meters, but that's not going to be helpful to the M plus run in general. The other big problem is that uh, the idea, of course, behind these affixes is to try to switch the groups each week and invite different people with different damage profiles, etc. And that's a very good idea, but uh, every time that Blizzard kind of enforces something in Mythic Plus in any kind of a way, that doesn't work very well, especially in Pugs. Uh, that goes back to the teams, uh, the high-level teams. They are very flexible. They can switch etc they have the capability to do so but when you're pugging this is actually very very bad and the idea is that let's say you're playing something that does uh, arcane damage i'm just picking one of them when uh the reckless weeks happens and arcane damage is king you'll be very happy for one week and then you have to wait three weeks to actually get to that point again so that's actually going to be very bad because you are incentivized to play only quarter of the time now uh, which means that the other two weeks are not, not going to feel uh, well for you. Even more so, there are some damage profiles in the game that do Chaos damage, which basically is going to benefit from all of these, and the meta is simply going to be a bunch of uh, DHs, a bunch of Warlocks, and everybody's going to be left behind anyway, uh, not only for two weeks, but all the time, right? So I don't think this is going to be uh, uh, playing out as they intended it to be, um, but let's hope uh, I'm wrong on this one. And uh, the other problem is that this actually buffs the mobs in the dungeons. And that is going to be a problem, especially on fortified weeks, because now you'll be taking increased damage uh, from those mobs. And 
uh, the previous affixes that they were removed, as I mentioned earlier, they did not do that. So now there's going to be certain fortified weeks, which are going to be nightmare. Nobody's want to uh, play them because there's going to be certain mobs that are going to be too overpowered because of th these buffs. And it's not going to matter if you have uh, the damage profile to kill them faster. It's just going to be a nightmare, especially when you combine them, let's say, with raging. So you cannot uh, uh, CC them, etc. Um, it's just it's just going to make it even more unpleasant. I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. But uh, especially in pugs, I think this is uh, the way it's going to play out. And I'm going to mention one more thing. Uh, let me find where it is. All right. So they are switching uh, for the third affix to be available at plus seven. In season four right now, this comes in at plus ten. And I must say that actually felt really really good and i'm very sorry that it's it's going because when you're playing oats and when you're trying to level a new character uh playing with only one affix basically up until the plus tens uh felt really nice and then when i'm an, on my main or a character that i'm actually pushing at then having the extra affix at plus tens etc that's fine because at this point you're already geared you already let's say know what you're doing because you might be learning a class in lower keys uh, so having the extra affix is something that you can handle, but it's very annoying to have it on the lower keys and uh, the plus sevens, etc. when you're trying to gear up or learn a new class. Uh, so from that perspective, I'm actually very sorry to see that change. Um, probably they're trying to make it a little bit more harder for season one, but I think these affixes are going to do the job uh, even without them switching the uh, affixes anyway. So uh, let me know what you think, guys, about those changes. Uh, we are yet to test them in the beta and the M+, plus that's coming up uh, later this week. So maybe you have different feedback uh, at this point. But right now, it just feels like uh, a little bit, uh, a little bit uh, saucy. Yeah, that's uh, all I'm going to say. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Now get out of here.